All right, Chris, we've been hearing as the college football regular season is wrapping up reports about coaches being on the move, including Duke head football coach Mike Elko. There are reports that it was Stoops from Kentucky that was taking the Texas A&M job. Now it appears that he's not. Now the reports are coming out right now today from Pete Thamel of ESPN, among others, that a decision from Mike Elko about the Texas A&M job should be made within the next 24 hours, Chris. Yeah, uh, and that's what he tweeted out just a little bit ago. Uh, that basically he's already called a meeting with his team. He's telling his team a decision will be made uh, within the next day. Um, you know, this is one of those things where, you know, I didn't know how to feel about this. Like during the season, like people kept saying, yeah, you know, Elko's going to go. Elko's going to go. But Elko himself kept saying like he he loves Duke and he even signed that uh, extension before the season. Um, you know, and I know that the, the pockets are deep in the SEC, of course, so they'll pay whatever buyout is there. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, I, I just I just wasn't sure. And you know, he did the best coach speak to uh <laughs> to try to solidify himself at Duke as much as possible. So he did a great job swerving this if he does end up going to Texas AM. Yeah, because he never actually denied that he was going to leave. That's the thing. He never actually truly True. denied it. He just said, he said I, hey, love I, just, I love it here. I love Duke. I love, I love Duke. Him. I love it here. My family loves Durham. I really enjoy it here. Now, why Texas A&M? He was the defensive coordinator from 2018 to 2021 at Texas A&M. So that's where he was hired from. So mm -hmm. that's something we got to keep in mind is that he does have connections to that school. Only been two years at Duke. So I'm sure there are probably some recruits, the guys that he talked to and recruited that are on that roster at Texas A&M. They didn't jump in the transfer portal after the last couple of years under Jimbo Fisher. But Jimbo Fisher no longer hired there. Um, the speculation has been running rampant for, gosh, the better part of a month, if not longer. Basically, the moment Jimbo Fisher got fired, people were like, yeah. well, when's Elko going to get hired? So yeah. that's, that's where we stand right now. Uh, my guess is if you're calling a team meeting, right after your regular season ends you've made a decision that's my speculation yeah uh and, and also like it's it's hard like when money really steps up and talks mm -hmm. it's hard to say no to that like yeah you can you can be sure that he's getting paid well at duke but he's probably not getting paid sec texas a m money <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. like you know the the acc checks duke makes a lot of money itself by itself um and you know, of course texas a m I'm sorry, excuse me, the ACC brings in money, but they're not bringing in SEC money. No. And uh, you got Texas oil money that's behind all that. That's on a whole different level. I mean, you know, we don't know what he's making over there at Duke, but this is a possibility for him to maybe make uh, in the eight, nine, maybe 10 million a year range. Um, and then also have access to uh, higher level recruits. At Duke, There is a there is going to be a cap. Yeah, because there's sure. going to be um, there's certain guys that are just not going to be able to either transfer in or either either be able to come in uh, through admissions as freshmen because maybe their grades uh, weren't that good uh, coming in uh, from high school. But at Texas A&M, uh, not that it's low standards, but the ceiling, the, you know, the floor is a little bit lower for those guys as far yeah. as the academics. You could get in bigger, better athletes, the five star guys. And the the quick turnaround he did at Duke, I'm pretty sure he feels like he could do that at Texas A&M and, and possibly beat an Alabama or an LSU, uh, maybe even a, a Georgia within the next two years and maybe make a run for that CFP. We'll see. But make sure you stay tuned in here to WRL Sports Fan, WRL Sports Fan.com. We'll keep you informed.